So it is important that we learn, and slowly as a country, I'm glad we are beginning to see partnerships coming up in Uganda. Businesses are beginning to grow. I was doing a business, and in Simba Telecom, I must confess, I did not take partners. But when I began building a, a power plant, I wanted to get into electricity, to do energy. Now that is a very capital intensive business. But I was very determined to get into it. And I could only go so far. Then I realized I've probably beaten off more than I can. I had to look around for a partner. Money who will add value, either in management, in building, in doing all kinds of things that I don't have. He brings a set of skills which I don't have. I bring a set of skills which he does not have. Then it's a good marriage. So I brought a partner on to help me with the construction. What have you. Instead of paying for the construction, he took some shares. Now we said, let's take this plant from 10 megawatts, went to 20 megawatts. From 20 megawatts now, let's take it to 50 megawatts. Now, you can go to the bank, you've shown a track record, they can lend you money, but they always say, put in your equity. We needed to borrow 25, 35 million dollars. Now, if I take all the money, like you said, out of the business, you will kill Simba Telecom, or you kill the hotel, or you kill something, but you still want to achieve your goal. It's better to be a small fish in a big pond than to be the big fish in a tiny fruit. So take on some equity, give a small percentage, let them become shareholders, they bring another set of skills, which also can help you grow even further. So now we've got alliances for 50 megawatts, but we're buying equipment for 70 megawatts. So that shows you that you've moved ahead. My shareholding can reduce, but my income will more than treble or four times go up. But these things you do slowly. Don't rush into partnerships also. You must have certain common areas, common ground, and then put the rules in place in advance. The level I've reached, we need to pay sophisticated lawyers. I see one of my lawyers over there. Very sophisticated, top lawyer. You need those people to help you to tidy up the paperwork. You can't be everything, read all the paperwork, do everything yourself. They earn their money. There's no free lunch. And that's what kills us. Our partnerships are too flimsy. You don't put anything in writing. Then one person dies and then you're all fighting. And then you say, ah, partnerships are a bad thing in Uganda. We will not grow. Don't get tired. Making money, we've been told we are not supposed to rest. Um, Sudil, uh, this is one question, small question, from somebody in the audience. He or she is asking you that where does the future lie in terms of business investment? I think the idea here is where are those things that in the future that we need to focus on and make money? I think every field is open to us, really. Um, you know, how, uh, so far where we've reached in Uganda, I'm t you know, in the next six, seven years, where the, the, the opportunities are op going to open up. I said to myself, uh, and everyone discussed with Patrick, I said, Patrick, the money we made in the last 20 years is, is going to be nothing compared to what we can make from now to next six years. Really. So that, I hope it, it's a message you understand. The opportunity is enormous. Um, the economy is going to explode. So I think in any field that you feel that, that, that you do it with your passion or something that you want to enjoy doing, go for it and it's open in every field. But what field is likely to make us money? Like for instance, somebody might ask me, by looking at red paper, somebody might say, I also want to start a newspaper. So I think what, what are those way, small, small um, things? IT, right? Trading, uh, processing, industries, agriculture is, is the backbone. So anything related with processing or from those, from organizing um, commercial farms into, into the end product. Food is becoming very, very important uh, uh, f uh, supply chain. So anything you do with the food, whether you go into frozen food, you can go into any kind of food, processing, semi-processing, um, the opportunities are there. So every field is open. Uganda is still a virgin country as far as business. Really, it is a virgin country. Every field is open and it's only people who are, who are committed and dedicated, you know, they, they can see the opening. Um, somebody again is asking you here from Elite Magazine. He says, uh, Sudil, Mr. Sudil, what is work value? How do you define work value? Work value. It's a difficult one. 
Patrick, myself, uh, uh, Robert, even you, Rujendo, and Sylvia. You know, I, I'm a work colleague. I, I, I start my day in the 6 in the morning, I sleep at 12. So time is no bound, it's, it's not quantifiable. I, if I get up in the morning, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Because uh, um, what um, dictates my day is what problems come. Now, if there's no problem, then my, my, my normal business starts. You know, um, in, in Uganda, you can have, you know, you have a power problem somewhere, or you can have somebody stealing something somewhere, or you have a land, land issues, quarters are getting into, or, you know, so, so you cannot predict your day. Very difficult. Thank you so much for your answer. Um, Sylvia, we are trying to conclude. Sylvia, um, what makes a successful marketing strategy? And how else do you stay out ahead of the competition? You know, I think you stay ahead of the competition by knowing who your competitors are. You have to continue to market your product. You can't say, oh, I have a brand, I'm well known, now, you know, whatever, I'm, you know, whatever I am getting is enough. You can see, see an example like uh, Coca-Cola. They're one of the biggest brands in the world, but they're the ones that have the biggest advertising and marketing budget in the world. So you can't stop, you know, promoting and marketing your product, especially every industry is different. Like my industry uh, is, like, part of it is, is like serious business so I have to create the brand I have to convince everybody to be able to wear the brand so the more you see it out there the more you'll go out to buy so I can't sit and wait for anyone to walk in as opposed to like to, for a bank as you see banks uh, people who just woke up one day and just go into the bank and open up an account but they still market marketing is very important for each and every business Thank you so much. Um, finally, the final question goes to you, Robert. Um, you're down there, you, you're in Chikubo, and there's this question that comes and says, most foreigners, especially Indians and Chinese, come into the country with, with just work permits and their passports. In two minutes, they have a supermarket. What is the difference between Indians and Chinese and the African uh, traders down there. As somebody who's on the ground, what have you seen? What makes them better and what makes them succeed very fast uh, than you guys? Thank you. Uh, is I, there anything we can learn from them? Yes, very much indeed. And I think, uh, like Mr. Sudir said it earlier, it's the saving culture. Uh, you, you heard and you said that many businesses start, but they collapse. 85% collapse before their fifth anniversary. The reason is we fail to separate business money from our personal money. When you start a, a beer business, it has, that is a business that has a lot of cash, uh, cash flow. So every day you have millions of shillings at your exposure. But you fail to, dis to establish that that money is not your money. And you want to start spending as though uh, it's your money. And even if it was your money, even if indeed, like he said, that he, for him he doubled in one week from 25,000 to 50,000. I'm sure he saved more, most of that money or reinvested it. The challenge that Ugandans have is when he makes that profit, then the next day, either he's buying a Porsche car or a big house to stay in, or throwing parties, birthday, whatever. That's the challenge. We do not save. And we do not separate our income from the business income. Uh, thank you so much. Maybe one last small question related to that. What is a typical day in an Indian's, Indian businessman? What's his typical day like uh, down there? 
How do you see? How do they go about them? Yeah. Um, well, I am Chikubo, but maybe I need to let you know that actually uh, I've uh, now upgraded, like someone has just put it, to, <laughs> to uh, first class uh, down in Rugogo, where I expect uh, people like Mr. Gendo to start shopping from in select garments and beyond. <laughs> but uh, the truth is, an Indian, first of all, another thing that they have common to them is they, they have a system in which they incorporate their family in them into doing business much earlier than we do. You find that when select garments uh, grows, it all depends on Ahimsiwe. When I go, the company goes. With Indians, that's not the case. They will train their family. They'll be part of it. And by the time Sudhi is retiring, there are so many people who can able not just take over for the sake because they are siblings or because they are offsprings, but because they are capable. And just before we came here, he was telling us, his son, if he wants to come to work, he will have to start from the lower level. Many of us, when you bring your son to join your business, you make him a manager. He starts as an MD. Coming to bully those that are below him, he doesn't know anything about the operation of that company. How do you expect him to solve the problem? Actually, like he put it, he creates more problems for the company than solve any. That's one other thing we need to learn from them. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, a, long, a round of applause to our panel. And uh, at this point in time, I want to take the opportunity to throw, throw it to you guys, because I'm sure some of you are burning with some small little questions here and there, possibly in the next 10 minutes as we conclude. Uh, you mention your name and where you work, and then your question.